Hey guys, uh, here I would like to show you how you can use Postman for checking the input and output of your Flask application. So first I would click on Launch Postman. There is code academyberlin.postman.co So I would try to create a request here. And then I would test all my request. okay? All right, so before I do that, I have to change into my Flask application and I would do prior sending the request through Postman. So this is basically my app.py file which we used. So to use this uh, app.py for Postman, I have to do a few changes. So I would just do that. First we get the hour and then we get whether it's solid or not. So I'll just do that. Is solid equals request.rgs.get. And then finally I'll try to get the day of the week. And then what I have to do basically is that I have to append the hour so again, I say this is for Postman. So I will just keep all the block of code inside this Postman begin and end. So I data dot append our this. If is holiday equals yes, then I would just use the state of extend okay as zero one and first I just create an empty list of data and finally I would do this data dot extend. So date it to item two instead of that I would just put the other week. Okay. Then I would just comment out all of this for the time being. So you can press Alt and Control and select press here so that you can uncomment the lines together also this one all right so our code is ready before we send the request to the postman and as you can see this is the predict method so I just save it and I just run it So as you can see, this is running on here. So control C and go to the postman again and click this URL over here. Okay. Uh, this is my credit function basically. So I'll just copy paste the key which I have used. The first one is basically our and the value that's set when it's holiday. Versus, yes. And this is day of the week, and that's uh, it's Monday. And if I send a request, let's see what happens. It says server error. All right, so there is some issue, as you can see that it is getting the list index out of range. So what we have to do basically check here what I'm printing. So, yeah, so for this time being, I can just use, so it's type return and then the 
predicted so by count and then I put the prediction okay so I just modified the return statement over here and let's see whether it solves our issue or not so I just rerun this app.py Alright, so let's go to Postman again and I click the same sending. Yes, you can see the predicted total byte count is 112, so it's coming perfectly. So this is basically what Postman does that, so we do not need to do lots of HTML coding or anything as such, we just tell them what values I am passing and what value I can predict out of that. So that's a simple introduction and for more details you can go to the official website and check out the videos over there.